All right, so this is question two on uh, practice exam two, and it is about tangent lines. So actually, I just you know changed problem two from exam one a little bit uh, because you know the derivative still talks about the tangent, and it's just that now we can find tangent lines to a slightly you know richer collection of functions than we could before because we know more techniques and more basic derivatives. So here's the curve, y equals um, e to the 2x, and then there is uh, e to the x there. So I think I still have the graph of it up here somewhere. Maybe, yeah, okay, so sorry. I'll have it, I'll have it in front of your eyes in just one sec. So here it is, this is what it looks like. Um, and so, so that you can appreciate this to the total max, Let's look at the problem again and see what it's what it's asking. So it says find a point on the curve where the tangent line has slope zero. Something you often want to do in calculus. And looking at the graph uh, here from foo plot, you can see um, the place where the tangent line has slope zero. You know those are kind of the flat places, and you're probably saying, well, it's right there. It's whatever that number is. And uh, you're right. So it's this it's this x value. And so we have to do a little bit of, bit of algebra to figure out exactly what that is. All right. Um, okay, so the first thing we probably want to do is take the derivative, right? Uh, because the derivative tells you what the slope of the tangent line is. So what is y prime? y prime is, so we're going to do a little chain rule action here. Okay, so this is kind of the complicated part. We're going to pretend like that stuff in the circle is just a variable. So if we do that, then we just get e to the 2x. But now since we pretended like it was a variable, the chain rule says we have to spit out the derivative. And the derivative of the stuff in the circle is 2, because it's 2 times x, and it, so the, the derivative is 2. And minus e to the x. Okay, no problem. All right, and so remember what the derivative means. If you put in a value for x here, what will come out is the slope of the tangent line of the curve at that x value. So, okay. So one way we can find what this um, point is, is to set this equal to zero and solve for x. So let's do that. Okay, so now it's just an algebra problem. And you're gonna say, uh, Professor Johnson, it is a crappy algebra problem because it's a little bit weird. I don't know. I'm sorry. So let's move e to the x over to the other side of the equal sign here. All right. And so what can I do now? I can, yeah. So now I'm just going to, I feel bad because I feel like for some people this might just come out of the blue. I'm going to divide both sides by e to the x. The reason is because right now there are several x's, but I'm trying to solve this equation for x, and so I want there to be just one of them. So I asked my brain, brain, how is it that I can manipulate this equation so that there will only be one x in it? And my brain says, move e to the x over to the other side, then divide through by e to the x, and then you'll have this situation. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do it. So you'll have e to the 2x over e to the x times 2 uh, equals 1. And so these bases are the same. And so my favorite rule for exponents says that this is really the same thing as just e to the 2x minus x. Okay, so when you have a quotient, you know the exponent subtract. And I might as well move this 2 over to the other side. And if I do that, I'll have 1 half. Okay. So uh, let me just, what can I do now? So 2x minus x is just x. So that gives me e to the x is equal to 1 half. And now, I hope this isn't this isn't too much of a shocker, but you know when you're in a situation like this, you want to solve for x. What you have to do is apply natural log to both sides to get the the x down from the exponent. So when I do that, natural log of e to the x is just x, 
and on the other side I get natural log of one half and that's it okay so natural log of one half so super fantastic and so notice this is natural log of two to the negative one so it actually is it is something negative if you put it into your calculator you'll see it's this negative value right here um, okay so that almost answers the question it says the question says give the x and y coordinates so I just found the x coordinate how do I find the y coordinate well uh, here is the definition of y so let me kind of polish this thing up again so there's y remember him so what I have to do to get y is just plug in uh, natural log of one half so let me do that so here's a little warm-up so this is really the same thing as e to the x squared okay so this is just the way exponents work 2x is the same as as this arrangement there's still an e to the x here let me move all this stuff down so I have some space let me erase this too alright um, so this is just the original function and I want to plug in x equals natural log of one half okay so I'll just do that in each place and each place where I do it the e and the natural log are just going to cancel each other that's because e to the natural log of anything is just that thing and that's because those two functions are uh, inverses inverses okay so when I plug this value for x in plug him in and then what happens you get e to the natural log of one half it's just one half this gives me one half squared minus one half and this is minus one half because this is a quarter take away a half uh, oh well I was a little hasty okay uh, so this is a quarter and if you take away a half you get a minus quarter okay alright very good so now I know what the uh, what the x y coordinates are the x y coordinates are natural log of one half comma minus one fourth and if you put natural log of one half in your calculator and, and consider this graph again uh, it's about right okay so this is minus a quarter that looks dead on on the y-axis there now um, what is the equation part b is saying hold on buddy what is the equation for the line in part a it's not as hard as it sounds because the line in part a is horizontal so what is the equation of a horizontal line it's just y equals the constant value okay and the constant value is minus one quarter so the answer for part b is y equals minus one fourth and you're done done that's it so that one's over